Hi guys, um, I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know what I'm up to. I'm kind of excited. I hope this goes well tonight, but as a candle maker, wax melt maker, I am always on the hunt for a cool and different and unique silicone mold. So I do have several. They are expensive to purchase, especially if you have to buy a lot of them. But uh, I have been on the lookout for making my own silicone molds. And where do you go when you need information, right? You go to Google, you go to YouTube. And I came across a lot of people that make their own silicone molds out of out of this clear type 1 silicone caulking. And there's a couple of different methods, and there's a couple of different methods that I'm going to use tonight. So you have the detergent and water method, and you have the cornstarch method. I happen to have both of those on hand, right, luckily. And uh, I'm going to try both. And I went to Walmart today, and I purchased three of these. These were $4 a piece. There's quite a bit in there. There's 10 ounces. So I, I think in this situation, this is one of those things where a little bit goes a long way. So I don't know how much it's going to take for what I need it for, but I bought three of them. I spent $5 on the glue or the uh, caulking gun, which I don't know what the hell you have to do with this to get it to work. I did see how you operate the little pokey thing so that you can break the seal inside, but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this thing out. I'm totally out of my element here, guys. I'm not a very creative person, uh, so I try. I do these things sometimes, and most times they don't work, but, you know, I'm going to try and see. And if this does work, if I can make molds, I will be casting molds on everything in the house. All right, I'm going to probably go crazy. But I had something that I wanted to do for Christmas and I cannot find a mold for it so this is what led me to this now I did purchase the mold making kit on Amazon and it was expensive it did work but it didn't turn out because I made a mistake on my end but it did set up and so uh, I, I have that for a backup plan if I cannot get this to work tonight so I will go back to the kit that I bought on Amazon it worked well like I said it was my mistake so what I have tonight is I have this gingerbread candle and I plan on making a mold out of this. Uh, this is what I tried with the silicone mold that I purchased off of Amazon. As a matter of fact, let me grab it. Okay, so this is actually what I, I made, okay? And it set. Everything turned out okay, but it was too thin on the bottom. And what I did with this one here is I made my own little makeshift box. You can kind of see the mold here on the back of them. I made my own box and I did not glue it on the outside, but I taped it and so it started to seep out. And so when I, when it was set and I pulled it out, I noticed that it was too thin on the bottom. All right, and so I feel like I also made this square, this box a little bit too big because you've got a lot of molding or, or mold material here that is wasted. So what I want to do because I do want to capture and it started to capture the details of the gingerbread man because I do want that detail. I want the eyes and the smile and I want all of this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set it upright and I'm going to pour on top and this will be the backside. And so then when I take it out I'll have this part definitely will be thick enough. So again, like I said, if this doesn't work with this stuff tonight, I can always go back and buy some more of this, although I don't want to because it's very expensive. So I'm going to be trying the gingerbread again. I also have this little apple here that I'm going to try to imitate. Uh, I probably won't be using this for any kind of molds or wax melts because I only have one apple. And to make 10 apples, okay, for let's say an order would take all day. So if I had 20 of these little guys, I, I would probably make a whole bunch of them, but I don't. So I'm just using this for practice. But I am going to also be trying to do a pillar 3D mold for this candle. This is a candle I've had for years, decade or more, um, and I've never used it. I've just used it for decor. And so I, I need to find something that I can put it in so I can make the mold. I've actually seen people make this kind of silicone mold and just kind of plaster it around and let it, uh, you know, kind of cure like that, and then they peel it out. So I, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research before I do the 3D mold. But for tonight, I am definitely going to be working on these two, and I'm going to try to mold these tonight and see if I can make some wax melts with it or a candle. 
uh, I would really like to make a candle. My ultimate goal was to do a 3D Christmas tree, so this is really what's gonna make it or break it for me. If I can manage to mold this, then I'll, I'll see about a tree, um, but we'll see. So that is what I'm doing tonight, guys. Uh, and also, this stuff apparently emits a very, very harsh vinegar smell. And I hate vinegar. I hate the smell of vinegar. I dread cleaning my coffee pots because I do not like the smell of vinegar in the house, although it does its job and it does it works really well. I use it for just about everything right down to the tub. And so I, I and Dawn, okay, I make my own cleaning mixture around here with vinegar, water, and Dawn, but I hate it <laughs> at the same time. And so I do have the room very ventilated. Um, I have my side window open, my sliding glass door open, and I will probably wear a mask, but I'm not gonna wear gloves. So when I was looking into this, uh, I have watched people use this and try to make molds with latex gloves, and I don't think it works really well with latex gloves. It's very, very sticky. That I believe is what the Dawn dish soap is for. So you pour the Dawn dish soap in a bucket of water. I believe it's the water that reacts with the silicone and makes it like a mold type thing. It's the soap that reduces the stickiness and allows you to be able to handle it. And I watched a video where a woman was using sil uh, latex gloves and all of it started sticking to the uh, latex gloves. And so uh, most people find it easier to just use it with their bare hands. And so that's what I'm going to do. So if I come on here and try to do a tarot reading in a week, guys, and my hands are all jacked up, that's why. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then um, I will also do the cornstarch method, which I think kind of makes it more like a more like a pasty type consistency and so I do have a couple of old Tupperware lids that I'm going to use to put these molds on uh, especially the one with the cornstarch because that should be able to I should be able to kind of you know control that without it spilling out it's going to be a little bit more thick um, but the gingerbread I'm going to use a small Tupperware container and I'm just going to put it in there and I'm going to pour the mold around it and see how that works and uh yeah so i'll be back on later on guys and i will let you know how it turns out and like i said if this works uh, i will be able to mold just about anything that i want which really uh m makes me th that's exciting because i can do all sorts of things i have all sorts of knickknacks could you imagine going into dollar tree around the holidays and getting all of these little cheap knickknacks and being able to make a mold from it um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I hope this works. So guys, wish me luck.